Hi, welcome to Little Artist Academia. Today we'll be exploring the movie Luca and learning how to draw Luca as a sea monster. So grab a pencil, a piece of paper, and something to color with, and we'll begin. To start, we'll grab a pencil and we'll draw very loosely a circle. And this is going to be where Luca's hat is. Next, we'll draw a loose shape around his head to represent where the scales are that come off of his head over here. And then loosely draw where his fish ears are going to be. Next, I'm going to draw two circles where his eyes will be, two line, two curvy lines for his eyebrows, a couple circles for his nose, and then a curvy mouth right about there. Next, I'm going to draw his body. So I'm going to start by drawing, and it's going to look a little weird, but stick with me. I'm going to draw a curvy line. It's going to be a very long curvy line like this. And then another one is going to curve up and then curve again. Something like that. I'm gonna draw an oval back here. Put that in. And then this is gonna start out wider and then get more narrow because this is his tail. something like that and then I need to draw loosely where his arms are gonna be so there's gonna be one around here I'm gonna draw a loose shape for his hand and then draw his other arm Loosely where his other hand will be. And then he has a fin coming up here. I I didn't do this part right. <laughs> There's gonna be another fin coming off his other arm. Something like something like this. And then there's a couple on his on the the tail. So Draw this unusual shape here, and then another one. And then I'll draw loosely where his shirt will come in together. So he's wearing like a collared shirt. So this is roughly where the collar is going to be. And there's one more fin that shows up on this back leg. And then I'm going to loosely draw in his irises and his pupils. So that's a really great start. It gives us um, a baseline to start with, and then now we're gonna get into more detail. So now we have this loose um, sketch done, now we can add in more detail and make it look 
more like the real thing. So his shape is the shape of his head isn't like a perfect circle. So it fix that kind of more straight along these two edges. Curve something like that along the top. And it kind of comes down. So you can almost see kind of like this is coming down to form his chin. And he has, I'm gonna define his eyes a little bit more. Add a little circle. This is going to be white. We're just going to not color to meet the coloring, and then that will make it look more shiny. And then the other circle for the other eye. There's other pupil. And I'm gonna move, I put the nostrils in not quite the right space. They need to be more centered in between the eyes. So I'm just gonna scooch them over like that. His mouth needs to be adjusted. Can we, something like that. And then his eyebrows get thicker towards the middle. So they're more pointy at the edges and get thicker. And then I'm gonna draw little circles on his face. They just kind of go under his eyes and over the bridge of his nose. Little spots. And next I'm going to draw on his ears. So there's like three Three little lines kind of like this and then they're like webbed in between and then this one's a little you only see two of the lines it's a little unusual but one curves like that and then another one curves at the bottom and then again There's like webbing in between. And then he has like all these scales coming out the top of his head. So I'm gonna draw those in. So next I'm gonna start drawing in the, his body. So he has, um, even in his uh, sea monster form, he has a shirt on. 
And so, draw in the shirt. So this is roughly, like I said before, where the collar is gonna be. You know, just a little bit. So, draw the collar. And then it has, it has buttons on it. So, got curve down. And I'm going to show some buttons. And then he has rolled up sleeves, so. curve and another curve and then connect them and then you can draw a couple lines for creases and then it looks like he has a rolled up sleeve and we'll just do another curve and then another curve outside of that because you don't see as much of it on this side and then there's a line right here where the seam is in his shirt and now that we have a shirt we can draw on his his arms and his hands his hands come down something like that he has a, a fin here you can just draw some Lines like that to make it look more like a fin. His hand, kind of an unusual shape. <laughs> Looks something like that. And then for his other arm. Down something like that and then he has a fin here and again I'll draw some lines there and then his hand so something like that I can clean it up a little so it's easier to see Next, I'll draw this one leg in the back. He actually has two, but in this image, you can only see one of them. So he has a fin here. So you can draw a couple lines like that. And then leg comes out like that. And then he has this unusual looking feet. <laughs> And then you, these are three toes, and then you draw a bump back here for his heel, the heel of his foot. And lastly, we need to draw in his tail. So actually, his tail comes in like that. And then he has this, these two big fins there. And like the other fins, these have lines, something like that. And then this back, this back fin.
And again, there's lines coming out of it. So great job. Now we have our sketch done, it's time to color. So I will be outlining all my line work in marker and then erasing all the pencil work and coloring in with color pencil. So there you go, that's one way to draw Luca as a sea monster. Thank you so much for joining us, great job, and join us next time when we explore more of the movie Luca and learn how to draw Luca in his human form.